Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first look on the channel of the new Nissan Qashqai. We're in uh, Sofia in Bulgaria, out of show, and I decided to finally film one. Uh, I didn't have Nissan on the car uh, list for review in Croatia, but we'll add it here on the car show. So uh, the new Qashqai feels very impressive on the road. Uh, since uh, one year since it was launched, uh, I really loved the sharp LED data running lights. They're kind of unique and uh, it's very easy to recognize a car on the road because of them. So let's come a little bit closer. This is a beautiful blue metallic color. You can see the daytime running lights on the top. Uh, I think they turn into turn signals. And then we have the main LED uh, lights, just projectors on the bottom. We have here inside Nissan adapted LED headlights. And also interesting detail uh, in the body, Qashqai signature. So that's a cool detail there. Uh, checking the front, we have a big grill intake on the top, a little bit on the bottom. You have those fog lights at the bottom and you have a nice slip in uh, unpainted plastic. So if you're going on a light off-road, uh, you won't damage your clear coat. The Nissan badge, you see it's transparent. There's the radar for cruise distance and emergency braking. There's also a 360 parking camera. And down there, they're on the side mirrors and the back end of the car. And we also have some side tunneling there. You can maybe see that. So it has a nice aerodynamics. And now the cool part is for an SUV, it has this plastic protection going all around. If you uh, plan to go in a little bit off-roading, no worries. Um, checking the interior, we can see big, nice heads-up display. You can see the uh, wide lane assist camera there and a light and rain sensor in the top. There's another sensor in the inside mirror to adapt the beam. And you can see here there's metallic black uh, contrasting roof and side mirrors. And on the top we have a panoramic glass roof that you can see. So. It's, I think it's closed, uh, so not openable. And over here you can see the slim roof racks and a nice shark fin. Now if I back up, you can see the whole car. And the frame, it's a beautiful silhouette of a SUV. And what I like about it, the roof isn't sloping down too much. Uh, you have a nice chrome at the bottom of the windows, and then it's like, on the top and the bottom surrounded. So it gives you a little bit of elegancy. You can see the camera there, blind spot warning system there. And you can of course press here to uh, lock and lock the keyless uh, entry. And over here you have on the driver and the physical cylinder. Uh, this windows would be of course up, uh, doesn't matter. And you can see tinted windows in the rear, factory standard. Now we can see here the alloys, these are massive. Um, so let's see if I can find it on the tire. These are Michelin Primacy 4 tires, quite a good tire. Uh, 235, 45, R20, so 20 inch alloys, diamond cut, silver on black. They look really nice, at least for my taste. You can see fender flares going a little outside. And then checking the rear, uh, look at this. This looks like a glass, but it's not. I think this is just like a piano black piece. And you can see that the spoiler is extending, slightly going down from the body. And then we have interesting 3D design of the LED taillights. Nice design, and you can see the back end of the car. So we're on a car show. So there will be people going around the car. And you can see the familiar signature on the rear. Now you have a plastic diffuser, a little bit of silver plastic as well. You can see the exhaust pipe on the left side. So this is actually painted and has a clear coat. Uh, unlike this, this is not painted. And we can see the beautiful LED lights. Of course, everything is LED technology. Now, if we press here, just to show you back in camera in warm lights for, it's like, yeah, 
cool, but more on the warm side for the license plates. Press to open up. And you can see the whole car in the frame. So I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6. .6, so this could open a little bit better, but you can press here to close and you can close it manually if electronics fail. Now over here, you can see the cargo space, quite spacious. Now checking the right side, there's a big uh, opening here. You can put up maybe fire extinguisher. There's a cubby here and there's a tether point there and there, on both ends, all four sides. There's a warm light on both ends. There's a grocery hook on both ends and there's a full outlet on the right side. So as you can see that, also space here. So you can put golf clubs there. Seats knocked down uh, 60, 40. And over here it's nice because you have a flat bottom entry. So if you need to load some stuff, it's practical. Uh, you can put this like that and it would give you an extra four or five fingers so maybe it's like up to the loading area six centimeters there is a spare tire but it's quite hard to see it so let me demonstrate this if i put this back to the original position you can take this one up but it can't stand like the first one so if i move that you can see how that looks if i put it there and then put this one there you can see that uh, this plastic is in the way so it, it, you can take this out and you can see there's an amplifier maybe or a subwoofer and a spare tire but you can see that is in the way so you have to like take this out it's quite difficult they didn't thought of that really apparently but it is what it is but it's still better to have a spare tire rather than a passion kit you can see on the top I close it up and uh, you can see now the rear and from the side without people beautiful silhouette of the Qashqai and on this end you can see the fuel so there's no fuel cap smart solution you just go in with the pistol and here is your recommended fuel it's petrol obviously so minimum 95 and that's it so in this case uh, it's not suitable for washing although there is a little drainage there and uh, let's get on the rear end so opening and closing sound could be better honestly and now the doors open almost 90 degrees almost so this is super practical if you have a child seat look at this this is almost a 90 degrees almost so really impressive now also what it's impressive they added this big seals on the top of course you can push down here then you would lock from the inside for the kids for safety we have our plastic on the top but then this is padded and this is some sort of like a blue tone leather with some contrast white stitching. It looks fancy. And nice big handles. So power windows. This feels quality where you touch. Uh, the rest is plastic, hard plastic, but also good space for bo water bottle and the speaker on the bottom. You can see the little Roman 5 means that's a factory tint. Now let's check the rear. So you can knock down the seat bench here. So if someone left the seat in the back position, let me just adjust that for a moment. Have power seats, of course. There we go. Okay, so you can see when the seats, when the seat is knocked down, excuse me. And that's almost a flat. Yeah, it's completely flat, so that's nice. You need to store some longer objects. You can see the shelf on the rear. You could put some stuff there, like a longer umbrella or similar. And there's a that the point for the child anchor there. Now this seat belt is in the way, but there is, look at this, a holder for the seat belt. So let's see if we can put it back. So now it's definitely not in the way. And 
you can remove that then put it back so it does go across there and then looking here inside there is very nice and smooth leather it's peripheral in the middle and have nice cushions there and looking at the top you can see the panel roof so i think this is some sort of sport package judging by the uh, black roof on the top i'm gonna sit inside but i definitely need that seat to go forward now let's hop inside and let's see here so we have plenty of feet room uh knee room is a bit tight but i think yeah the seat could go a little up i think uh it has the uh, easy entry so it backs up and uh, you can see when you adjust there's okay knee room uh, i think it's still again way back let's hear the closing sound sounds good although the front windows are open so we have here Evans ac usb c and a so that's nice for the transition area we have a fairly wide transmission tunnel it's not too tall the seats ooh so this is semi soft this is quite comfortable and of course you have these child anchors I got to show you but i think yeah you need to remove the plastic and you can put it back probably store it in the rear so you don't lose them and to hear the armrest so we have a nice armrest two adjustable cup holders although this is plastic this is not rubberized and you can see the uh, nice big long windows you have another one in the seat pillar and fairly good overview on the rear i definitely have to check this is the sport package and i have these slowly closing handles hooks there a little warmer lights on the side there no hooks on the b pillar but i love this contrasting theme it's black but just on the doors a little bit of blue and uh for the two meter tall person hmm uh, definitely problem with the fan and roof. Um, they try to maximize the space on the rear, so if you're an average person, you should be very comfortable in the rear. So I can see that it's black, but it is going inside here. But this end, because of the shade, uh, it's a problem. If you want more headroom, if you have a tall kid, so, or I don't know, then you should uh, lift, not spec the glass roof, but, but it is a nice option. It gives you a lot of light inside, as you can see. And this is the front so let's go on the front and check what's there and of course you can adjust the seat post some cars are losing that but i think uh, that's a handy and as well to have uh, that handle on the driver side as well so this is really quite impressive how they did this the doors open super wide and we're gonna get on the front so now the window is down and uh, we have a like solid closing sound but could be a bit better uh is it too bad sometimes the windows when they're half down they make terrible noises also front doors open super wide which is impressive now checking the front material this is soft on the top and then as on the rear everything is soft uh this is hard plastic and then the bottom is hard plastic as mentioned uh you have here memory seats two positions and you can hear it lock or unlock it from the inside. You can fold the mirrors or unfold them. Uh, there are windows, but uh, yeah, they're all automatic. Uh, and these are marked, you can see that. So you know when you touch the front and then the rear. That's a cool idea, that's a smart solution. And you can lock the rear from the driver in. So if you have kids, you can lock so they don't play with the windows. Um, there's a nice space here, it's just bare plastic and a speaker at the bottom. Uh, over here we have a tire pressure information, more luggage, more passengers, more high tire pressure on the rear for safety. Have the original Qashqai carpets, standard battles for the automatic, and there's your foot rest. Seats, uh, we have powered seats. It's nice, this is back and forward, up and down, and then uh, nothing for them. Actually, yeah, it does control the, it's just in the top position for the knee area. Uh, looks like you have a massage option and you have the lumbar here. So that's quite nice. Uh, smaller bol bolsters at the bottom, but a bit bigger on the top. And 
again nice smooth leather perforated has this nice pattern this looks like rom uh, like diamonds it gives it a little premium touch inside definitely I mean the leather quality is uh, astonishing and over here you can see you can control the brightness of the infotainment you can open or close the cargo area from the driver position I guess you have here some lane assist options uh, auto start stuff off and uh, for the heads up display over here you can control manually the uh, steering column and on the top you can see a lot of light coming inside now we gotta get inside so as you can see the seat is way back uh, it memorized the position can go even lower but uh, Qashqai is a very roomy car well, we're gonna close this has a good closing sound I would wish that the windows were up but they're down so you can see the point of view and it looks very interesting I love the steering wheel and you have nice big mirrors so uh, the screen is on the top now and uh, below are the air vents so your eyes are closer to the road and I like it's kind of minimalist design but then you still have nice physical controls for the AC so let's zoom back in and check out the details so let's start from the steering wheel you have a smooth leather it doesn't have too much texture to it I prefer smoother steering wheels it has a little bit flat bottom so it is like a sports steering wheel uh, there's not too much piano black there's a little bit on the inside and here on the top and you have nice buttons you know capacitive touch buttons so this is for the infotainment here you can have plus and minus and you can change here uh, like stations or skip songs you can have a list voice commands phone calls distance safeties um, I guess speed limiter or cruise control options and here you can play with all of that you have the sport battles here so that's cool uh, you should keep your lights on automatic and you have here the classical uh, wiper controls and washers uh, I love the details a little bit aluminium here actually that's plastic but it imitates aluminium and again that blue leather this is not soft it's covered it, hard plastic covered by leather but it's not soft it's like barely padded on the top this one's soft so if you're wondering have the air in going there you have the Bose speakers in the A pillar and you have a nice speaker over there in the corner you have that big heads up display and air vents on the top so you can see that and the dash is quite minimalist uh, on the top you have a nice big screen uh, I think we have here the navigation we are missing the key uh, I'm gonna play with that later and you can here see you have a nice volume um, knob and here for the fine tuning or the zooming in for the navigation you have here night and day mode I guess let's see here yeah so that's pretty cool and you can have here some physical buttons uh, for skip pages and so on you have audio uh, media map and camera it's not turning on the camera and a back button uh, moving at the bottom there is a little piano black not too much and a little bit around the screen basil but it's okay in my book so that's okay and over here you have the vents you can control that you have the hazard button here don't see the hazard turn signals on the side mirrors unfortunately you have here for the defrost I oh, actually didn't notice this has a heated windshield and a heated steering wheel you have here the heated seats if, I'm not sure if there's an option of cooled seats that would be a cool option in the summer and you have nice physical controls for the AC something I do like uh, this is very practical you have the maximum below view the frost close or open the air circulation fan speed and airflow direction moving at the bottom you have the start stop button and you have a 12 volt outlet there and over here you have a wireless charging pad for your smartphone and at the bottom you have the electronic parking brake and auto hold quite important when you have the automatic 
Uh, now I have to say I really love this design. It's quite nice looking and elegant, so no need for piano black. Uh, you can press Q to move back and forward, press the park, and over here you have uh, driving mode, so sport, eco, uh, standard road, snow, and maybe uh, hills. And you have here ambient lights around. They are available inside the doors here in these, but only on the front. And this is covered by soft touch material and this blue leather. It looks quite elegant. Have uh, big cup holders. There are rubberized at the bottom, but not adjustable. And armrest is soft. So goes. There's this mechanism to open it up. But does it extend? Hmm, it doesn't. Well, that's that's a shame. Wait, maybe it does. No, no, no. Unfortunately, it doesn't extend. Uh, I was under the impression that it maybe was, but uh, so you can see that you have a second shelf here. So you have this is also rubberized for smaller stuff, and then you can take this up. And you can see this. So this holds the. Uh -huh. So that's why you have these. This opens up this one, and this opens up a hole. Let's see that. So this opens the without that, and then this one opens with that. Oh, huh. that's cool. You can see USB A and C, and there's a rubber mat here. There's a good amount of space. Not sure what this is for kind of weird but this is still in the way so and if you open it up if something's inside it's just going to okay no okay can't figure it out now i thought it was oh so if something's here this goes up then it's going to just fall down okay and uh you can see the dash again nice blue leather this is a nice touch detail, I like the pattern, and slowly opening, it's plain plastic. But there's a fair amount of space inside. I don't see a light maybe when you turn on the ignition. The seats are big and comfortable, you can see the panel roof. And moving to the top, you can see the little basil around the mirror. I guess you can turn on uh, the auto dimming. And there's a good overview on the rear vents here and passenger every information on the top you have the warm lights you see that and you have the emergency call there I'm not sure if it's like an openable plastic it looks like a button and you can hear open or close in the shade uh, which is electronically operated you can see it there and that's it uh, on the top you have this nice and soft and then this is kind of more on the hard end documents folder there's also consistent warm light and a privacy mirror and if we open this this might suggest that this might extend it's not covered but nope it does not unfortunately so and this is the overview if you're a taller person you can see the hood a bit good overview for the mirrors and if you can see here Plenty of headspace for a two meter tall person despite the glass roof. And now I'm gonna ask for a key so we can start the ignition. And voila, we have the doing on. Uh, I'm gonna close the windows so you can hear now the soundproof. It's quite good. Um, so let's check the infotainment uh, or the digital cockpit first. Uh, we have a beautiful screen, it's uh, quite sharp graphics. If you come a little bit closer, you can see that. Now the camera doesn't give it a justice because the ISO is struggling a bit. But let's see what we have here. Mm. Okay, the Smiths. So we have the navigation here at the bottom, nothing. And if you go here to the side, you can see you drive your computer. You can see your average and sensor start. You can see type pressure information. You need to drive to get the info. And you can see here 
uh, distance. I guess you can play with that as well. And over here, have the FM radio and safety so you can see the traffic uh, speed limit and blind spot and forward collision warning you can press ok for the settings lane blind spot and emergency braking so uh, that's quite cool you have the settings here ESP settings driver assistance personal display let's see here gear position trip fuel economy time destination navigation or a blank and uh, that's quite nice head-up display uh, brightness and something's and now I didn't close the doors it's going closing thank you uh, so the brightness you can see the heads-up display on the top there if I zoom in you can see that a bit better zooming out and you can see you can control the brightness height, rotation, content selection. You can see navigation, uh, driving aids, traffic signs, audio, and phone. So, there you can reset everything. And echo settings, tire pressure, uh, clock, vehicle settings, power back on, light, lock, wipers, driving position, uh, hmm. exit side, see. Um, I'm interested that the Nissan decided to put all of this in the main display, even the language, which is cool. Maybe you can control both things from the uh, display. You can see at the bottom the menu. So you can see here home menu, you can see trip, car, settings, navigation, phone, uh, safeties, and settings. Uh, of course, if you would press here, it can bring you to the uh, safeties. So if there's an extra button, maybe not necessary. And then you can see here, like, I go back to the uh, maybe distance you can control that but i think it was maybe another view anyways uh let's get to this one i don't think we have any uh different views uh navigation as mentioned you can change it here to a daytime or night mode i think i prefer the night mode and um you can go to the phone calls of course you can connect via bluetooth uh, you can add, add a this home destination. You can here play with the settings. Um, I think the graphic user interface is a bit um, <clears throat> uh, basic. I'm gonna use something uh, refresh, and uh, the screen has a big bezel. Maybe they could have used more retail space on the screen. Uh, let's see the cameras here it's uh i know they're flashing i think it's the led lights above us uh, otherwise it wouldn't be like that uh the graphics look fairly uh sharp when it comes to the screen but the camera actually not that bad but it could be a bit better in 2022 and back you can see how it's reacting to people camera off you know we can Choose the size here you can change cameras so that's uh, pretty cool and here let's see the menu so we have here radio settings clock so this looks like something from 2000 you know or 2010s uh, i think they should maybe work on this it's okay it has um all the necessary stuff but it's maybe a bit outdated i wanted to hear the music but i don't think we're gonna have any radio stations here to uh, actually test some sound so uh, but the info team serves its purpose i would say it's kind of basic and uh, just to show the ac here you can see the ac how it looks when it's on so we only have uh, the temperature here you can sync sync it's a dual zone, you see the heated seat, maybe not. Okay, it's turning wheel, nope. Maybe you need to turn on the ignition for that one. So that's it, everyone's browsing the car. Uh, it does look pretty good and high quality on the inside, I would say. Um, definitely uh, surprised with the Qashqai. 
And uh, let's wrap it up again on the front. You can see now the ambient lights only on the front. Unfortunately, not why. Not sure why car industry is saving money on the rear. And let me just see here. Okay, pop up, pop up the bonnet. Now, I think it's uh, in the middle. To the push it to the left. You have to use the little leg. You can see the opening mechanism down there. And here is the petrol engine. And there is a washer fluid for the user, which I cannot find at the moment. Oh, it's here, it's right. So, although the leg is in the way, but I guess when you open it and put it on the leg, it's not in the way. So that was the beautiful Qashqai. And I like to show you the lights. So, just to switch them on for you. So, uh, lights on. You can see the lights on, so the main lights are at the bottom. And then you have your data running lights on the top. And I'm just gonna turn on the hazards for you as well. You can see the hazard lights. Now, it'd be cool if they were dynamic, but it is what it is. You can see it on the side mirror, and you can see it on the rear. LED. And uh, I turned on the fog lights, you can see those as well. And let's check the fog light on the rear and wrap up the video. So you have one on the left. And okay to check the spec. So we are in Bulgaria once again. So uh, this is Celeric. Now you can see new Nissan Qashqai 1.3 DIGT. I will drive CVT uh, automatic transmission. And uh, I don't know Cyrillic. So this is for the Bulgarian. Uh, Audience, um, I can read a few stuff, but I don't see the uh, exact horsepower. Uh, you can see the price, uh, this is in Bulgarian currency. On the bottom, I think this is the entry, actually, no, this is the model. Uh, Techna Plus package, that's what I can read. Uh, don't know the horsepower, to be honest, but yeah, that's it. So tell me in the comments how to like the new Nissan Qashqai. I think I'm impressed. I, I like the exterior design. In the interior design, uh, definitely Nissan has worked on their quality. Uh, I think the infotainment could use a little bit of an update. The cockpit is great, but just the infotainment needs a little refresh. Uh, if you want to see more from uh, Sofia Auto Show, like the new Astra, like the new uh, Renault Astral, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I click the bell to get notifications, click on all, otherwise you won't get them. And I'm going to see you in the next video, hopefully. Stay safe. Bye.